Hello everyone, I am Shara Gorbani, the founder and director of Project Control Academy, where we help you master your knowledge and skills in project controls. Today I have the honor to talk with James, the co-founder of uh, Graphic Schedule. So uh, before, uh, thank you very much, uh, James, for uh, accepting this interview and talking to us. Before talking about your great tool, Graphic Schedule, just uh, I always ask this question about the challenges. Uh, in your opinion, what challenges do you think we as project controllers are facing in the industry? Great question. Um, my background is construction management and um, these projects keep getting bigger and bigger and more and more complex. And so we deal with schedules that are 35, 50, 70 pages long. And uh, the challenge is communicating that. There's a lot of barriers. Uh, so I, I believe that all the people that work on these projects really want to know what's in that 70 page schedule. Definitely. Right? Um, but there's just, it's very difficult for them to get that information. They, they want to understand the logic, the relationships, the deadlines. Um, but, but getting to that out of, out of P6 or Project or any of these tools that are very, very powerful tools has been hard. Um, so, I've been there too, so I understand what you're saying. Yeah. So, I, I, you know, we found that uh, putting things onto one page has been very helpful to help people uh, see the big picture and get Just there. curious, Jim, how do you put that on one page? Like, because there are a lot of data that, you know, um, out of the schedule, like let's say you have a big schedule, 3,000 activities. So how do you, like how your software pick and choose what activity to show on the first page? Good question. Um, so what we, what we do, and this is actually what a lot of people in the industry end up doing is drawing them by hand sometimes too, to, to summarize things. Yeah. Um, we uh, summarize the schedule and it's up to the, the user to decide what's important. Uh, a good question would be, what information does my boss want to know, right? And, okay. and that would, that's always a good filter, right? If you, if you create something that your boss wants to read and understand, and they could show it to their boss, mm -hmm. then, then you're onto something because that's, that's uh, important information, right? So um, I tend to, we spend time to study the schedule. We need to understand what's in that 70 page schedule and we work on it, mm -hmm. but then roll it up into something that's a summary level. Okay. And our software helps with that. There are, there are other tools that do this too, but uh, it's something that um, allows you to illustrate it in a, in a concise format. And so. uh, how would it interface with other scheduling software such as Primavera or uh, like Beam or other stuff that are out there? Like how uh, your tool would be kind of connected and integrated with other tools in pulling the information? Sure. Um, so our, the way we set it up, you can either create a schedule from scratch on one page, or you can link these summary shapes to activity ID. Oh. So if you, if you establish links, then um, next month when the schedule changes, just import the data again, and the summary shapes will move to reflect the new dates. So that, that's the so step that saves people on, time. So is it done on, let's say, Primavera, or they have to have this separate, or would it be kind of seamless integration? Uh, graphic schedule is an Excel add-in, oh, so okay. when you install it on your PC, it loads oh, into Excel, okay. and it can create two kinds of schedules. It can be a linear schedule, which will show projects by time and location, mm -hmm. or it can just be a one-page bar chart okay. for so anything. Easy yeah. application, basically, in yes. Excel, okay. Yes. Um, so another question I would have would be the challenges of implementing the tool. Is there any challenges that you think uh, would exist in terms of adopting the tool into the existing tools that they have, or it's because just in an Excel extension, probably there is no challenge. I don't know, I just uh, want to know your opinion on it. Yeah, um, so uh, Excel was a starting point for us because it was uh, easy to create a, a simple tool in that platform, and everyone is already using Excel. Uh, originally, when we started, we thought about going to a web application or other, other types of platforms, and we realized that our, our customers really like working in Excel. They're already there every day using Excel. So we plan to stay there and uh, just you know, keep working on improving our product right inside Excel. Um, it's, it's slightly harder to deploy from a software standpoint uh, in terms of installing it and things like that. You actually need to install it and then it'll work. Um, but uh, it's, it's, it's something that we found is very accessible to people. So. Okay, so there's not much challenges in terms of adopting the tool into the existing tools that they have, right? That's right. It, it, it's complementary to all the other tools that you see here at this conference. Uh, okay. it's, it can illustrate data from many scheduling applications. 
And uh, Constant, I know you are the co-founder of Graphic Schedule, but yes. uh, can you tell us a story of what made you create this tool as a solution? Sure. Uh, me and my co-founder both uh, uh, we manage tunnel projects, uh, and um, so you know we he'd been doing this for decades, creating these linear schedules and bar charts, and you draw them by hand or, or draw them in Microsoft Office. Um, and I was doing the same thing. I started with a, an Excel chart that was very complicated, but it looked good when you click print, right? right? And people would ask us, how did you do that? And I'd tell them, and I'd show them my work, workbook, uh, and we realized it would be helpful to create an application that would make it easy. So we started by building it for ourselves, but also so that the rest of the industry could use it. Awesome, great solution, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, James, for your Thank time. You I, appreciate I appreciate it. Thank it. you. Thank Thanks you so much. much. You Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that.